Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in this video I want to share with you a beautiful attacking game played by German chess grandmaster Robert Hubner against English chess grandmaster Anthony Miles. This game is from the 9th annual Interpolish chess tournament held in Tilburg, 1985. The interesting thing is that Miles played this game while lying on a massage table because he had severe back pain. It was uh, during the third round game against Romanishin that Miles began to suffer extreme back pain. He was forced to take painkillers and lie flat on a massage table during his games in order to participate in the remaining rounds. But even so, he played well and together with Hubner and Korshnoi shared the first place. In this video, I want to share with you a round 5 game where Hubner had white pieces and he opened up with e4. Miles answered with c5, Sicilian defense, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, and we see the good old dragon variation, bishop e2, in return white is choosing the classical variation, both players castled king side, bishop e3, knight c6, we see all this uh, standard stuff, f4, queen c8, now black wants to go for a move like bishop g4, and uh, white can either stop it or play king h1. In here king h1 is the main move, but in the game we see bishop f3. Uh, and also from c8 the queen can put a useful pressure down the c file, although uh, the c8 square usually belongs to black rook. Knight d5, after which several exchanges followed. Knight b4, hitting on c2, also the dark squared bishop's diagonal is open. Queen e4. In return, white is attacking both the pawn and the knight. And also white is neutralizing a threat like knight takes c2, because in this case rook c1 can follow. Uh, in the game after queen e4, black made a passive looking knight a6 move. Uh, it was better to play a5. Uh, this is a more active try and can give black better chances. But in the game we see knight a6 c3, queen c7, rook a e1, rook a e8, f5. Uh, well, at this point it was better to play f5, you know, and uh, once black allowed white to go for f5, this is allowing white to create a very dangerous kingside attack. Knight c5 was made with knight takes c5, after which white switched his rook into the attack from the third rank. G takes f5, which weakened black's king side further. Queen d6, bishop f4, although playing rook h3 straight away is also playable. But in the game we see bishop f4, and only after queen b6, white created a mating threat. h3, rook g3. We have a deadly pin, and now white wants to win this pawn. King h8. So black is unpinning the knight, uh, but a king move like this can't save the game in typical positions. Uh, we've already reached the critical position and you can pause the video and try to find Hubner's winning move. Uh, ready? N now look, the queen is covering the 6th rank, is successfully guarding the h6 square, that's why we need to make a blockading move and rook e6, this marvelous rook e6 move followed. Uh, let me tell you that d6 is also winning, but this is more precise and at the same time it's just spectacular. Black accepted the rook sacrifice and as already the 6th rank is blocked, we have bishop takes h6. c4 check and after king h1 black resigned because black king is in a mating net. If he takes d5, then bishop takes g7 and then bishop takes f8. Yeah, just no way out. If king takes f8, then queen h7, and if king f7, then queen h5, followed by queen takes e8. Yeah, this is a total destruction. That's why after king h1, resignation followed. A quick and confident victorious game by Robert Hubner, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Although I have to tell you that since Miles played this tournament well, shared the first place, also played in a very unusual way, uh, should publish one of his games as well. 
Uh, in one of my upcoming videos, we will cover a uh, round 6 game which Miles played against Lev Polugayevsky. Uh, in the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.